So at some stage in everyone's Photoshop journey, we've come across the issue of when we've placed one layer behind another layer, auto select actually prevents us from reselecting the layer in the background because we automatically select the layer in the foreground. So is there actually a way in Adobe Photoshop that we can turn off auto select? And is there a shortcut that we might be able to use that can help speed up this process? Cool, so we have our simple composition here in Adobe Photoshop. And what we want to be able to do is actually control whether we use auto select or not on the move tool. So if you're confused about what auto select actually means, if I quickly deselect both layers, as you can see in the layers panel, neither layer is selected. So we have two layers here. We have the auto and then we have the select part of our auto select word. So normally when I have no layer selected, I can just press on any layer that I want to select. And as you can see in the layers panel, it's now selected and I can do anything with that layer now. For example, I could free transform it just by pressing command and T or control and T for windows. And then if I wanted to select the second part of our word here, I could just simply press on the layer and once again, it's automatically selected. But in some cases, if we have multiple layers stacked on top of each other, auto select can be annoying because we can't actually automatically select the layer underneath. Instead, every time it's going to select the layer on top. So to turn auto select off, it's very, very simple. What you need to do first is make sure you're on the move tool. So if you're not sure where the move tool is, it's the first icon on the top of our left hand toolbar. And as you can see, the shortcut to it is V and that's both for Windows and Mac. And then in order to actually turn off the auto select, it's just the first option in the parameters here. So as you can see here, it says auto select and we can just untick that option. Now, if you are also interested, as you can see at the moment, we've got it turned off, but if I quickly turn it back on again, you can actually change what you want to auto select. So at the moment it's set to layer. So any layer that I press in Photoshop is automatically going to be selected, but you can also change this to group. And this basically means that if these two layers were grouped together, so for example, I could go to the layers panel and shift select both layers and then press command and G or control and G for windows. And as you can see, I've now put them into a group. What you'll notice is if I have no layer selected, I can now select the group. And as you can see, it's going to select the group instead of actually selecting the layer itself. So that can be handy if you have a lot of groups and obviously groups are a great way to stay organized in Photoshop. But obviously that wasn't what we were trying to do. So I'm going to quickly undo that. And I'm also going to reselect layer and then actually get rid of auto select altogether. So now that we've turned off auto select, as you can see, when I try to move a layer, we're going to get an error message. And this is because we have no layer selected and the move tool isn't good to select any layers automatically for us. So what we need to do now is just make sure that on the layers panel, we have the correct layer selected that we want to use. So for example, if I want to move the select, just make sure select is selected. As you can see, I can now move that option around. I can even move it behind the auto. And as you'll notice, as long as I've got select selected, I can move the select without actually having auto select automatically select the word in front. Likewise, if I want to select auto, I just need to make sure I have auto selected in the layers. And as you can see, I can now move that option. But this can be quite a tedious process if we have to keep going up to the checkbox at the top in order to turn on or off auto select. So this is where it's handy to actually know the shortcut for auto select. So what I'm going to do is just check auto select to start off with. So we have auto select actually on. I'm going to quickly recenter our two words. So with auto select turned on, as you can see, I can now once again select any layer and actually move them. Let's say, for example, that I move select behind auto right here once again. Well, in order to turn off auto selects so that I can still select the word behind, all I need to do is hold command or control for windows on my keyboard. As you can see, this is actually going to select the word and show whereabouts it's located. But I can just hold command and as you can see, I can now move the word behind. And you'll also notice that whenever I have command held in at the top, the checkbox is automatically going to be turned off. So as you can see, auto select is now off as long as I have command held in. So this is the nice and easy shortcut that you can use in order to switch between having auto select turned on and auto select turned off in Adobe Photoshop. So I hope you found that video useful. If you're interested in learning how you can actually move layers to the front or the back of your compositions in Adobe Photoshop, then do check out the video on the right of the end screen. And otherwise do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do remember to subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new Photoshop tutorial.